Are you sick of getting constantly electrocuted by messing with mains power? And are you too cheap to install expensive home automation? Then we have a solution for you. Take these certified cheap as Chinese radio controlled power outlets. Oh. oh, but do I really need another remote control? It can't even be used for any kind of automation. Haha, -ha, no worries little loony, you can throw the remote away. Oh. With this revolutionary WeMOS Wi-Fi device with added RF capabilities, you can control up to 1,048,576 individual power outlets over Wi-Fi. Cool! So you say I can turn all those 1,048,576 lamps on at once using my smartphone? Sure, even automated and over the internet. Also available with plug types of your region. Recently I made a video about a Wi-Fi controlled main switch on my trash channel. But I decided to make this tutorial for those who want to do some home automation but don't like to mess with mains voltage and probably have some children around. I have picked those outlets since they are cheap, seem to be certified and have a good protective casing. Controlling such RF outlets using Arduinos isn't that new. We can utilize this to do some home automation. The best part is that you can easily reprogram them and that they don't need extra batteries. They came even with instructions. The remote seems to be powered by some strange not included 12 volt battery. You can simply stack some coin batteries from the dollar store if you want to use it. It also worked at 5 volts from my power supply when I reverse engineered the RF codes. I connected the oscilloscope to a 433 MHz RF receiver and kept the button pressed. I really need a modern oscilloscope with some memory function. Send me if you have a spare one. I recorded a video of the signals using my camera and written the pulses down. The bits are coded with 1 cycle high, 3 cycles low for 0 and 3 cycles high and 1 cycle low for 1. A cycle length seems to be 200 milliseconds. A data packet consists of 24 bits. 20 bits identifier, 1 bit for on and off and 3 bits to control 3 channels. I struggled with the last missing piece which is the preamble. I found some comparable device datasheets which had informations on it. The preamble indicates the start of the data packet. It is 1 cycle high and 31 cycles low. An example would look like this. When sending your codes you should repeat them a few times to cover interferences. I have written a test sketch to simulate an on-off signal. Setting up the sender is really easy. First of all you need to solder an antenna to the transmitter module. This is simply a wire. Then you connect it to ground, 3.3 volts and the data pin you like to use. I have used D6 in my test sketch. Upload the sketch and test it. A common problem with the ESP is that it draws much power. If your USB is constantly failing to upload anything, you probably have to support it with an additional power source. I am using this battery shield. The test sketch should work with any Arduino device. If it doesn't work right away, your outlet is probably using another ID or channel. There is no need to find out which codes your device is using. You can simply reprogram it by holding the button until the LED starts to blink. Then simply send a command either on or off with the ID and channel you like. I simply run the test sketch with the codes I like and it reprograms it and starts switching it on and off. This gives you the possibility to control 1,048,576 times 3 individual devices using one sender. Or you can even program multiple ones with the same code if you need. To be able to control it over Wi-Fi you can use a Wemos microcontroller. I have written a simple sketch which can be controlled over HTTP requests. You enter your Wi-Fi credentials, upload the sketch, get the IP from the serial monitor and use that IP to control it. It provides a simple user interface to generate the link you need. On a 
mobile phone I'm simply using the HTTP request widget. If you need more details how to set up the Arduino IDE, the Wemos microcontroller or your mobile phone, just watch my previous video. Now I can place the Wemo somewhere in the room and control the outlets using my smartphone. You can find all the links to the parts and sketches in the description below. If you liked this video, you can subscribe, support me on Patreon and tune in again. Bye!